Hi, I'm Wasim Uddin. Welcome to Sales and Tutorial Series. Be sure to check the link in the description to get the code of the whole tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do left and right hand detection using CV Zone, which is very useful in doing gesture related projects. So without any further delay, let's move on to the tutorial. This is the code from the previous hand tracking tutorial. I strongly advise you to see that tutorial first and come back to understand the code. I will give the link of the tutorial in the description below. Now using detector.findPosition, I will extract the hand landmarks by passing in the variable img and it will return a list of coordinates of 21 landmarks extracted from our hand which will be stored in the variable alumnist. Detector.findPosition will return an empty list if our hand is absent in the frame which is taken from our webcam. Moreover, here I have set draw equals to false in detector.find position as I don't want to show any bounding box around my hand. You can set it to true if you like. Now we will check if the alum list is empty or not using the if statement. If it is not empty, then we will use detector.findHand to get the hand type. A string value of left or right will be stored in the variable myHandType. At last, we will display the hand type in the frame at point 5050 using cv2.putText. Now let's run the code and see if our hands are properly detected or not. You can see my right hand is detected as left hand and my left hand is being detected as right hand. This is because in detector.findHands, I am passing in the flipped image using cv2.flip. Now, if I comment out cv2.flip and rerun the code, My right hand is being detected as right hand and my left hand is being detected as left hand as now I am passing in the original feed of my webcam in detector.findHands. So you have seen how we can detect our left and right hand with just 15 lines of code. That's it for today. Like, share and subscribe for more such tutorials from me. See you next time.